five to ten times deadlier than COVID-19 for children. School districts will begin to, to wrestle with this. I think it is important to um, try to be factual as we go through this. Uh, when we look at right now uh, the mortality of this particular COVID virus, um, in the first uh, almost 218,000 people we looked at February to July, um, there was um, 52 individuals under the age of 18. Um, and, and if I recollect, about 35 were actually school age. Some of them were younger than school age. We're looking critically at those, those individuals and you know, uh, clearly there's an increase in comorbidities related to significant medical conditions that we've already assessed. But I think that's important because what that means actually is the, the, the risk per 100,000 so far you know, into the outbreak, uh, six months into it, is in fact that we're looking at about 0.1 per 100,000. So another way to say that it's one in a million. And I'm not trying to belittle that, I'm just trying to make sure we look at it proportional because if you do the same thing for influenza deaths uh, for school age children over the last five years, they're anywhere from five to 10 times greater. So I want people to understand the, the risk properly as they make that decision. And obviously influenza, we also benefit from having therapy and a vaccine. Uh, so I, want, I don't want people to overestimate the risk of serious illness to individuals that are school age. We don't shut down the schools for flu, which is five to ten times deadlier for school age children. 